Let's do The Guardian now with a solution to the massive number of people out of work. Just give them free money forever. <laughs> yeah, which is, uh, this is, this is in The Guardian. We'd like to give out free money, not theirs, basically. But it's the universal, universal basic income. They want to, is that uh, universal basic in- income of 1600 a month to be trialed in two places in England. And so you think, well, the government is going to trial this. But it's not the government. It's some think tank called yeah. Autonomy, which is backing the plan. 1600 pounds is how much is that? Is that twenty thousand twenty thousand pounds a year? That's a lot of money to give somebody to. I would, you know, I wouldn't be happy because I'm making hundreds and hundreds of thousands from this. Yeah, sure. But uh, they'd be given money whether they choose to work or not. And then, and then the guy was founding founded something. Well, the woman is founding. He says no one should be facing poverty, having to choose between heating and eating in one of the wealthiest countries in the world. All evidence shows that it would directly alleviate poverty. Yeah, giving somebody twenty thousand pounds is going to alleviate poverty. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So I'm suspicious. It's. It's they, they tried it in Finland. Sorry, to yeah. I wasn't sure if you were going to get to the, the end of the sentence. They tried it in Finland for two years. They gave them 560 euros, and they found there was an increase in well-being. Who knew? Yeah. Because they gave them free money. Right. But also there was a slight increase, apparently, in, in employment, to where, for some reason, they don't not particularly sure of taking that pressure away did lead people to take other jobs. So that, that could happen. But, Paul, I'm a bit suspicious. It's basically socialism, isn't it? The money has to come from somewhere, which is taxpayers like you with your nice card, and it goes to these yeah. people because where else can it come from? And well, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not an economist, as you know, but I always struggle to understand why this doesn't just cause inflation. If you give everyone this amount of money, why doesn't that devalue this amount you're, of money? You're asking Paul. May I'm I asking, answer? May go I on. Answer? Yeah, go on. The answer is it does cause inflation. That's what causes inflation. When you spend money you don't have to give to people who don't deserve it. Nice. Well, you sound like Leo Kirstenite. <laughs> Go on, Paul. It, well, it is socialism, isn't it? It's, it is. It's very much socialism. I mean, two places in England. They're going to give this to Jarrow in the North East and they're going to give it to a town in uh, North London. In Finchley, right? So I can tell you already what's going to happen. Yeah. The people in Finchley are still going to be hungry on £1,600 a month right. and the people in Jarrow are automatically going to become some of the wealthiest people in Jarrow. McMahon's they, everywhere. Yeah, well, th- yeah, exactly. Uh, this isn't going to prove anything. It feels like... Uh, it feels like... It's always the case, isn't it, that you need capitalism to support socialism. So this money's got to be generated somehow to be given away, and it feels like someone wants to prove a point that this can work. Doing it in these two places isn't going to prove anything. And yeah. this is a trial of just, I think, 30, 30 people, so it's not a major... Not a major you can't, I mean, that's a Let's lot. see what happens. My concern, lastly, is just that, you know, what does it do to people? As I think I believe it was Bobby Kennedy that said, welfare rots the soul of a man, so yeah. will people still want to get jobs and be active? Let's see, anyway.